Hey, what's good, people, man? Welcome to another episode of No Silicone, Keeping It Raw and Keeping It Real with your boy <laughs> Feeling Hendrix. And today I'm joined by two special guests. Mm. These two right here, man, special on so many levels, man. We're talking mm. teammates, brothers, brethren, creatives. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I think you like me, fam. Well, that's a fact. <laughs> 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 We're talking about two guys that are like in the middle of the, the, the creative scene right now, in the middle of creative space, doing the numbers and disrupting. Yeah, I mean, to say the least, man. Um, let me introduce them one by one. On my left, man, we've got none other than who's Orion. Orion, how are you doing today, sir? Yo, I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing, bro? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Thanks for joining me on today's episode of No thank Silicone. You, my brother. Thank yeah, you, I thank mean, you. and my guy, Blinky. All on, fam. Hey, man. Thanks for popping by. Problem. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, Blinky's featured yeah. before. I mean, a little bit, a little snippet over there we have talking about um, wifey material, and there's been a lot of comments and a lot of streams and a lot of shares of that little snippet we have over there. <laughs> you feel me? So Blinky's well known to the to the No Silicone fan page. Yeah, I mean, mm. how y'all doing today? I'm good, fam. I can't lie, fam. Fortune just cooked me up some fucking food because uh, my belly's hurting. I might bust a couple burps and them things there. And All right, cool. Them. If you don't mind twisting your head to the left. <laughs> oh, God, I can't promise that. So you don't burp into the listeners' ears. I appreciate that. Right. Blinky, how are you living today, my guy? I'm good, man. Easy, man. Yeah? Easy, easy, easy. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Um, guys, man, I just want to introduce the world to Orion. Yeah, you know I mean, um, I've known this guy for for a short minute. You know what I mean, mm. and um, like I said on the intro, he's doing a lot right now. Orion, for the Ooh. people, for the people that don't know you, man, could you just give us a quick um overview of who is who is Orion? Who is who is Orion? So who is Orion? Is I mean, it says it in the name. I'm still trying to figure out myself in mm. regards to life, in regards to even music as well, because I got a whole bunch of sounds. Obviously, I'm I'm under PXL. PXL, we're we're gonna take over this whole thing. Mm. Obviously, that's Blinky, that's Nyad, and obviously, and and a lot of other special names to to that's that's involved in this whole thing. Right. But and, and 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 as part of the team, you are an artist, right? You're you're a rapper. Yeah, for sure. For I'm an artist. I'm an artist. Um, I wouldn't. To be honest, you told me to stop calling myself a rapper. As okay. Well, so how would you define yourself? Man, I define myself as um, I don't know. I'm just a. I'm just. I just make music. So I feel like I could do pop. I could do trap, I can do rock if I wanted to, I can do opera if I wanted to. Mm. Like, <laughs> yeah. I could do all that, you get me? I don't think so. So literally there's no limit and that's why it's who is around. Again, I don't know if we want to talk albums yet so far because we're still early, but I think when we do an album, I think the first album we might stick to a sound, but after that, I think we're going to be scatty and just do whatever that comes okay. natural to us. Okay, I think the term yeah. to, to refer to you as is um, a creative musician. You're a musician. I like that, yeah. Yeah? A creative musician. All that and above, you yeah. know what I mean? All yeah. that and more. Yeah. And Blinky, man, um, I didn't really intro you um, too deep last time uh, with the assumption that people already know you, but let's assume that some don't. Yeah, I mean, do you mind introducing yourself, Blinks, Allow man? Allow me to reintroduce Just myself. My, my name, name is, is Ho. <laughs> B to the L I. Um, yes, sir. You like a jacket? Yeah, I'm um, um, Blinky, the one and only. Mm-hmm. Woo! Facts. Music producer, creator. I wouldn't even call myself a music producer. Just I'm good at sounds, man. You're good at sounds. I'm just good at sounds. Man, it's <laughs> coming like Razel. I can just put things together. So yeah, I'm yeah. Good at do you remember Police Academy? You remember that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> blinky. Yeah, you're yeah. a bit too young for that. Yeah, a bit I too think, young for I that. Think yeah, I'm more, more for middle man. Okay. Yeah. I okay. That's, that's 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 my role in life. My role in music. Like, yeah. Yeah, the middle man between the music and the artist. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the sound creator, you put it all together. Yeah, yeah. I'll call in you. Every way as well. in, uh, yeah, in yeah. Every, in every form, not just musically. I yeah, think. just in in life and mm. life in general as well. I've always just been. The middle man, isn't yeah, it? the one that brings everyone together. Yeah, and this is the thing. I mean, I call you the um the Professor X of the studio. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I try, I try. Yeah, I mean, because you know you're working with a bunch of freaks, a bunch of mutants, <laughs> a bunch of weirdos with these and powers. You're on, and you're on the wheelchair, cause with a bald head. When you take your hat off, cause <laughs> <laughs> no bald head here, cause. <laughs> but you know, um, in between all those mutants, those freaks, those weirdos, those guys with powers, you're mm. the one in the middle, curating all that stuff, bringing it together. You got cerebro in your brain, and then you just make something. You make 100%. the the school of gifted students. Hundred percent. You feel man, me? Man got cerebro and the logic. You yes, get sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nah. Um, it, was, it was real dope to, um, I guess, to introduce both of you to the podcast. Um, Orion, you're a really interesting guy, you know what I mean? Because, um, so Blink and I were a bit older. You're, I'd say you represent more of the Generation X, Generation Z, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you're, you represent the younger generation. Mm. 
and your mentality is something that I always find interesting. You know, mm. we tend to go um, back and forth a lot. Yeah. I mean, in terms of, you know, your mentality and your approach to life versus our approach to life. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Um, and it's really interesting. Like, let's, let's, I guess, let's focus on the music aspect of things. You know, mm -hmm. how, how would you approach your music? How do you define your music? I know it's kind of, it's kind of versatile. It is kind of mm -hmm. eclectic and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, in, in, in one of these songs whereby you're introducing yourself, what's the name of the track you guys just recorded now? Uh, PXL, man. Called PXL. It's yep. kind of like in the introduction to who's Ryan. Yep. You know, you say sometimes I speak ignorant, sometimes I speak deep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's a really interesting thing for me. You know what I mean? Because yeah. what is your message? Like, what are you trying to say to the people, man? Who Who's Ryan and what <coughs> are you trying to say? How do you approach this stuff? I think... Um, First, like I'd, I'd say for first, like it's um it's about just representing who I am, and when I represent both sides of me, sometimes being ignorant and then sometimes being what they call woke, I guess, or mm. conscious. Mm. I'm both. I literally am both. Mm. Um, I can't help it. I'm a Gemini. Mm. One day I wake up, I feel like doing some dumb shit. I feel like, you know, speaking to you know, go on the road, catch some things, do some masses, and mm. do a madness. I mean, other days I feel like, man, let me go to church, let me get holy, let me get, um, just try and just keep positive, positive energy. Mm. Not that both sides, I feel like both sides are positive, positive energy, but sometimes the ignorant side could be immature. Yeah. And I think immature is cool at times because in cer certain definitions, I think like I'm mature when it comes to money, I'm mature when it comes to like real serious shit. But things that matter, matter. But yeah, things that matter. But yeah. when it comes to like the banter side, there's no holds bar. Like this, the guy in front of me right now, Hendrix, says the maddest of things, says the <laughs> funniest jokes and the foulest things to me. And I think that's what makes us cool. And, and yeah. even me as a brand, because I'm very self that I can make fun of myself. Like, mm. And that gives us unlimited power to kind of like project, like no one can destroy my 100%. brand. Because you don't take I, yourself I don't too seriously. Take myself seriously. Yeah, and that's so. interesting because one thing yeah. which I, you know, I, I find that you guys do really well with the brand is these videos whereby you're reviewing people's comments, you're reviewing people's reviews of yeah. your, of your music, of your, you know, everything that you put out. And some yeah. of them, you know, some of them are, depre are deprecating, etc. And some yeah. of them are, you know, the boosting, shit. you know. But all you can do, all you do, is laugh it off. <laughs> and sometimes you actually play with it as well. And I yeah. think that's the best thing about your brand, your image. It's like you don't take yourself too seriously. So when people do throw like quote unquote shade, mm. for you can just laugh it off and say, yeah, so yeah, it's life. It ain't that I deep. I love it. I yeah. love, I love shit, I, and I feel like I was born. You're gonna hear it when the PXO bars. Like I've been bullied. Like I feel like I know you're having asked for the deep questions. Let's go deeper with it both for mm. a sec. Like I've been bullied. I've been fought, beat up. I've been done all that shit as a kid. Mm. I would go to school. Obviously, my dad's Nigerian. It was a very crazy. He was he's a, he's changed now, but he was a tug back then, mm. like a proper gangster in it. Mm. So. So I'd be bullied in school mm. and you'd think your escape would be your yard. As soon as I go house, I'd be kind of bullied, I guess. It's the Nigerian way, but mm. it's like bullied. In, so I felt like there was no escape, but that built my character. Mm. So I feel like it's put me in, and God did this to put me in this position for me to be like bulletproof to anyone. Because mm. I don't really care what anyone thinks really, because because I've been through what I've been through. I'm you, like, you've built tough skin. Tough skin, skin yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I know who I am. Like I know what I'm capable of. I know what God made me to do. I know yeah. what God's, paint god's paint is never off yeah, yeah he's always dope. paints us in his image so dope. um it's a thing where yeah like so when people say shit online fam i love it man because i'm like right, cool more attention to me man let's go yeah. you get me okay that's dope i mean yeah. um one thing you mentioned um is that you're a gemini yeah, yeah i mean and blinky i mean you i know you're really into your horoscopes and stuff like that yeah horoscopes. i mean astrology Please, <laughs> as, as, <laughs> if I corrected you, as you know, as you can tell, school. it's not my thing. And you know, I, I'm not really, it, really I don't really <laughs> roll with any of that stuff. You feel me? So um, this guy's saying that he's a Gemini, like from your interpretation, your understanding of that and of who he is as well. Is he reflective of that or? 100%. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's like dealing with two, two different people. Bro. Right, right. You actually don't know who you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. One day is like this serious guy. Next day, it's just like, oh, fuck. What's he <laughs> saying now, bro? What's he saying now? I'll flick on his Instagram yeah, and he's yeah. on some shit. And I'm like, oh, now nah, can you talk to your son, bro? <laughs> 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 man, apparently, I've got three dads here, fam. i got Blinky, Nige, and, and my real dad as well. Nah, four dads, bro, bro, I'm out, you lot, I'm out. Oh, you're I'm, done? I'm, you're bad enough. I've given up. I've given up. <laughs> You've given up. Daddy, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, Orion. I mean, that's interesting, and I think that's that's where your name is. Uh, is so befitting of who you are. You feel me? Because this whole who is represents so much, right? Like who yeah. is? I could be this guy one day, this guy the next day. Yeah. You know, what I mean. But I think the most important thing, which this whole team reflects, is that your core, your core um, foundations, your core principles are always in check. 100%. And you mentioned something. You you keep referring to religion as a thing. You know, what yeah. I mean, saying God God holds you down, your dad mm -hmm. holds you down, and stuff like that. Sure. 
and like what are your core principles i mean if we if we shred off the blink if we shred off the the swag if we shred off you know mm -hmm. the creativity aspect of things like mm -hmm. you know the public image public persona which is also your real persona yeah, yeah. but what are the core things that make you who you are what do you believe in all right <coughs> I don't know if you lot know anything about Gary Vee. I'm sure I'm sure you do because all of you are very successful minded. So mm. you would know. So um, Gary Vee, I, I think I share, let me not say share traits, but I'm definitely inspiring to be in that same mindset. So I think in regards to morals, and I have to thank my dad and my mom for that, is mm. I have certain morals such as um, no one owes you anything. Mm. You know, that's, that's a fact. You don't owe anyone anything. Mm. I feel like I owe my parents shit. Mm. besides that i don't owe no one nothing mm. no one owes me nothing even mm. my parents don't owe me nothing mm. that's the first mental if you get that right you deep how life is so much easier like that when you realize that you have control like if something happens to you and you start saying blaming people that mm. means it weren't in your control if you start blaming that means there's no control mm. for the most part 80 percent of life is in your control mm. the mm. ones that isn't you just have to ignore it mm. but um that that's definitely a more I believe in mm. taking responsibility and Take, it, yeah and acknowledging okay yeah and acknowledging it and uh, being positive as well like even in a selfish way I I think sometimes I'm put I think sometimes it's just natural like it's a trait that my mom has and mm. it's like I can't help it so I like to do good for others mm. but also in a selfish way if you be positive you just get so much positivity back right it's like it's just your perspective on life. Yeah. When you do positive things, they talk about karma. I don't necessarily believe in karma, but I believe in the odds of mm. life. Mm. The more negative shit you do, mm. real, this, like statistically, most likely something negative will happen back to you. Mm. Same thing when you do positive, re like statistically, more positive things will happen. Yeah. Like even just meeting how I met with you lot was mm. just of me being positive. Me speaking to um uh, to Kevin Garney, biggest mm. producer. Shout shout Kevin shout as well, Kevin. hard producer. Mm. Um, he's also in that PXL track here. My real son. My real son. <laughs> yeah, the real the, <laughs> the big original. <laughs> I got a mastermind head on that. Yeah, yeah, big up Kevin Garney and that. Yeah, yeah. But um. Yeah. Me and him just being positive to mm. each other, like we'll speak like twice a year or something. Mm. But before, before, like I used to go to Nottingham as well. Like I had no money, so I'd bump the the coach there or mm. I'd um, take child ticket and shit, go mm. meet him. So he realized like we used to be cool, but then uh, over the time, whilst I was in uni, we would speak like twice a year. He'd hit me up, like ask me to write some shit, and I would mm. like I wouldn't even think about. It. I would, like I like the guy. He would do the same for me. I would ask for beats. He just do it. It's positive. Three years, four years down the line, five years down the line, mm. hits me up, says there's a group, PXL, they're trying to get artists and he wants me on. And again, that just came, even though it's five years later, just me being a good person, mm. likewise with uh, Kevin being a good person, mm. vibes good, something amazing happened. And there's out. something beautiful came out of it. Uh, I mean, on, on that note, I mean, Blinky, um, I, I don't know if you're going to dip in uh, here, yeah, but I was, I was... I was just about to say, yeah. you know, the mad thing about that is that even... Mm. Obviously, the story from your side mm -hmm. is one thing, but the story from our side is mad. And then mm -hmm. when you put them together, it's crazy. So mm -hmm. on our side, it was a thing of like, for time, people were telling me, oh, um, <coughs> you need an artist to mm -hmm. actually, that you can build so you can show what you can actually do, mm -hmm. like production-wise and stuff like that. And then for time, it was like, yeah, yeah. And obviously, we had linked up with uh, um, Jay, innit? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And he he come on board and obviously he's like, oh, let's find an artist, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. So we're looking for an artist. Then my little cousin had this, um, one of his boys that I was rapping. Mm. The guys that Jay's working with now. <coughs> yeah, his guy, he was meant to come for a meeting. So on the, on the way, on his way to meet us, mm. he got shifted. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. went, whatever, went prison or whatever. Mm. Which was kind of like everyone was like, oh shit, okay, so what we're gonna do for artists now? Mm -hmm. And then Kevin turned around, I was like, oh, I've got this guy, um, Orion, mm. and he played your tune, and everyone's like, <laughs> so what, fam, you've had someone <laughs> all this time, and you didn't say nothing, he's like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. That's why he told me. Yeah. I didn't. I know, I, I, dog. I didn't know. Yeah, okay, like, yo, dog. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're doing submissions, dog. We're doing interviews, dog. Submissions, yo. <laughs> then we, it was like, yeah, hook up, hook up the meeting, bro. And with me, like, there's certain things that I look for with an artist, and mm. like, especially coming from where i come from like um all the people i've come up with and stuff mm. like that the way we work is crazy we do, fam no sleep mm. that's how we come up innit? Fact. our work rate is crazy and then on top of that it's just more about like the talent mm. mm -hmm. that we naturally everyone naturally talent in their, in, in the, in their own in way own right yeah. so yeah. When, when this guy come along he come in and it's just 
you know, like bright energy. Bro. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy. It's that energy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Colorful, like, innit? Have you ever met someone and, fi- mm, fi- aura. and, and you feel like, oh, I've met, like they just belong. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Come it just in, fits, right? And he was just there, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Every every day we, we, we like after that after we linked up every day I kept on saying to Nigel no, fam it feels like this guy's been with us for a long time yeah 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 <laughs> like yeah. he just blended we in click, all, we click yeah, yeah. all the characters yeah. it's yeah. like you know what blinks to 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 dip into what Ryan said in terms of like um speaking things into existence yeah. being positive and that uh, you know the positive karma coming back and stuff yeah. like that yeah. and I know you know you um yourself Nigel you guys are huge advocates of you know. The, the the power of of the tongue the huge advocates of affirmations the huge advocates of you know things like the, the magic and stuff like that mm. i mean like do you mind just sharing like what is your belief system around that whole you know positivity um thinking thinking things like that um my whole thing is just uh especially if you're trying to attain something like a goal mm. or whatever mm. or manifest something mm. uh, i think for me it's all about working mm-hmm. is like the main ingredient like mm-hmm. working towards whatever mm-hmm. <laughs> having a clear vision and then mm. what puts us like like the, the ice on the top is just being positive mm. right? and doing nice things wherever you can mm-hmm. just be a nice person bro. Mm-hmm. <coughs> just, just be a just be a, a nice person because i probably believe like what you put out you get back yeah like i've been on both sides where like um i've lived so many different lives i've been so many different people i've mm. been like the, the the guy on on the roads or whatever. Yeah. I've been the bullied kid. I've been the bully. I've been mm. on both sides. Mm. And the mad thing is, of like me being the guy, the bad guy. Mm. Trust me, come back and, and and come back and got me, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then me being the good guy now, it's like yo, I'm calm, bro. Yeah. Like, I ain't got no problems. No one get on with life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Opportunities always presenting themselves. Yeah. People like him always finding me. Yeah. Like everyone that's in my team. Yeah. It's weird. This is the thing. Everyone that's my team, I've attracted them. Mm, 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 my mm. brother's my manager, mm, mm, mm. and he one day he turned around and said, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna manage me. You, we're mm. at school together." Mm. Um, everyone else, like even the mad things that he attracted him. Mm, <laughs> mm, <laughs> like it's mad. It's crazy. It's just, it all makes sense. Everything. Yeah. Just, yeah. When you say him, who are we talking about? Oh, right Louis. Yeah. <laughs> Big up fucking Louis, cuz <laughs> E Squids. Then shout, my brother. Aye, gag yeah. shit. Yeah. I was in my new son in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we adopted him. I've, I've, got, I've got bare sons, trust me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, great, man. That's that's dope. I mean, the concept of like you know breeding positivity and recycling positivity mm-hmm. and it coming back magnetizing and stuff like that it's a dope thing and i guess you guys sharing that those values just kind of means like it's inevitable that great things are bound to come to you if you mm-hmm. just keep pushing that stuff out to the Simple universe yeah, yeah, yeah. you Simple feel me that. that's yeah, really yeah. good to hear i mean um orion like um we ain't got that much time but if yeah. you just give me an idea of like um i was asking for i guess your inspirations and stuff like that yeah you feel me i know religion is one thing you know mm-hmm. positivity is one thing your family is one thing mm-hmm. You know what is what is your goal? What do you see? What is the the big picture for you? Where do you see yourself going? Where, where's Orion in a couple of years? Uh, I mean, in a couple of years. Um, I mean, in regards to like, I don't know where I want to be. I know that um, it's beyond music. It's gonna be beyond music. It's more than music. Mm-hmm. But in regards to you know music, mm-hmm. um, it's definitely somewhere we're gonna. Uh, well, <laughs> PXL is gonna be the biggest band in the UK. Mm simple as that mm. i've said it here. In the, I yeah it's not it's more than a brand it's a family do you um, say band or brand brand with an r oh, oh, oh. with an r cuz he was like, yeah, it's band, a band, <laughs> <laughs> making my the band, band. <laughs> my band <laughs> making the band yeah no no, no, no. but the big man thing pxl is, is is and it is more than a brand it's a family mm. we yeah it's, 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 it's you it's, this it's, is a, they, you lot inspire me they, the thing is do you know what's crazy and it's cool that we're saying it here now we've got me on there because I guess I don't really tell you lot. You lot inspire me every day. Like, mm. I told four strings. I tell four strings, like, fam, if I do something wrong, even though some of you lot, you do lot do dumb shit, you do lot, you need to check on yourselves as well. <laughs> but when they, they put me on check and it's out of love, but they do, put me do on you know, check. But do you know what it is? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Even though you say, oh, we do dumb shit. Yeah. Like, same way they check you, they check me. Mm. The same way they check me, I check them. Mm. Yeah, Trust yeah. me, every single person has had their moment where everyone's like, <laughs> have to get bro. Real quick. <laughs> accountability. Bro. Cut it up quick, man. Account- yeah, account- accountability. Accountability. Is yeah, yeah. No, Shared sure. accountability yeah, yeah. is definitely but something. it's coming from a good place. A hundred percent. Because we're all trying every to, we're, we're all, as, as a team, we're, we're trying to achieve big things, innit? Facts, and yeah. we can't afford to have 
No slacking. Yeah, no, no slacking. slacking. You're as strong as your weakest fucking link. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. And that's and yeah, and uh, so that's what I would say. Like PXL, I think. Um, well, I'm gonna be the biggest UK artist. I've yeah, said no. it here. I've said it now. Yeah. In God's grace, hundred percent. Shout out everyone as well that's put, you've done it before, man. <laughs> We're just doing it different. We're coming out different. We're coming out big. Mm. Um. Yeah, more, more, more than anything, it's not really a competition thing. It's more of a competition for ourselves. And I think one of the 100%. main things, musically anyway, we're trying to create musically and just in just with the team. Mm. It's all about creating something that's going to live yeah. on and on and Ever, on yeah. and on and on. That's always going to be mentioned in, in years to mm. come. In it, yeah. That for well for for me, that's kind of like one of the big goals. Yeah. Kind of thing like. I'm talking to one of my boys the other day. Was talk, um, Michael Jackson come on, and the mad thing is that, fam, till this day, there's kids mm. that still go crazy over my like, It's toddlers. crazy. Yeah, that's that's Todd nuts, isn't it? That's a fact, yeah. Like, how's your music? That's it music transcends generations. Before we was born. Bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm. Transcends this, generations. This, this, yeah. this guy's been making tunes since he was a kid. Yeah, mm. yeah. His mm. music is still living. It's on. living on. Yeah. That's the type of shit I'm trying to do. Fam. Mm. Mm. Shit like that. Even like, mm. for example, like brands like Nike. Mm. Added that. So all these things have been around for years and years, decades and decades and decades mm. and decades. That's mm. the type of shit that we're trying to do, man. Yeah. And with God's grace, we'll, we'll make it happen, man. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I mean, um, Orion. You know, one thing which I I, I referred to earlier, um, which is an interesting concept. Again, is you know, I wouldn't call you the middle child so so much, right? But it's weird. We're kind of making you like the middle child because mm. you're having so many mature influences from people like myself, people like Blinky, yeah. people like Nigel, people like Sarah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like all these Shout mature Sarah. influences. And then you have, you know, your influences from, you know, your age range, right? And people mm. that think more like your generation. We're talking about people like Four Strings, people like Louie and mm. all your mandem and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I call, I'm call i calling you the middle child to an extent because you're kind of in between, right? Yeah. And you do have this thing whereby you're being dragged left and right sometimes yeah. you feel me and how do you balance that out you know within yourself having both those things um like how do you choose you feel me because how do you decide i'm gonna listen to these guys i'm listening to that guys and what goes on in your head is it is it difficult or is it just like yeah i listen to my heart mm -hmm. that's one thing i've realized mm -hmm. it's crazy i i don't know i don't know i don't know the science behind it i don't know if it's deeper than life if it's god but then honestly listen to your instinct like mm -hmm. your heart mm -hmm. like what actually feels right intuition yeah. intuition mm -hmm. when i'm around you it feels right mm -hmm. i don't I, 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 I don't feel any i don't need to put my guard up mm -hmm. at all like apart from when you lot are trying to boy man so i have to make sure <laughs> i come prepared with them mm -hmm. <laughs> with the this is like take off your hands to see what's under there sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry hendrix my apologies <laughs> 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 hey we should take, take off your hat challenge we should do that <laughs> but besides that though for real though jokes aside though jokes aside <laughs> Um, <laughs> <Yo. laughs> like, it's a thing where it's literally yeah uh it's in regards to balance for example someone like four strings someone like louis them being my age um or my age range they're still very ahead of and i think that's why you fuck with us because i feel like at our age we're still very ahead of our ourselves we might do a lot of dumb shit and probably less of them more me do dumb shit but then we're very still like our Mature. mindset. Yeah, we know yeah. what we want to yeah. do. We might do dumb shits on the way, but I feel like we're aware of the dumb, like we do know what is wrong and what's right. And sometimes we want to do something wrong, like grab a girl and let's go to the hotel. And you know what I mean? Yeah. But then but sometimes it's like, you know what I'm trying I to think, say? I think one thing, one, one thing with a lot of you lot, uh, with a uh, you lot is um, self-awareness. Yeah. Yeah, but that's one thing that I like, especially you, you know, like, yeah. And you know, there's times where I've call, I'm calling you. You know exactly what I'm calling <laughs> you for, and you're like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. It's literally that. It's and literally exactly that. what you're saying is like every single person, especially people, like more people that are, are self-aware, mm -hmm. that when they uh, listen to their, it's not even listen to uh, um, intuition. It's like every every single person knows mm -hmm. right from wrong, and mm -hmm. every like you know what's right, <laughs> you know what's wrong. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like mm -hmm. you just know, innit? But then some people are so lost in the but source this is the ones i'm talking about when they're it. not when they're not so it's not it's, it's not um ignoring it i think it's more like not being aware yeah not being yeah. aware of everything that's going on or of your actions and how what they do to other people, people. And the consequences like mm -hmm. yeah consequences yeah mm -hmm. <coughs> but then there's other people that are fully aware yeah and sometimes sure. i feel like some some like for me mm -hmm. i've never been taught to be self-aware mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like i've always just 
I don't know. Mm. It just comes to you. Just, yeah, I've just always been. So like that's it. that's an interesting thing. I mean, um, I think one of the you know one of my my quotables, Hendrix quotables, is yeah. self awareness. Yeah. You feel me? And that is that is a core value. I mean, being self aware. Mm just like being able to spread positivity takes you a cut above other people mm-hmm. being able to just see the good things yeah. and having self-awareness takes you above because mm. a lot of people even though they might have that consciousness within them they might block it out because sometimes it's hard to face the truth there's people there's people right now yeah. that are there's two there's three types of people there's one person right now that is not aware of their wrongdoings and they're just doing wrong in their life and they continue to live life till they're like 89 mm-hmm. and just do dumb shit and then die sad then you have the second type of people that are now aware uh, they're aware of their shit and they know what they're doing wrong and then they still continue to do it and that's even more painful because you're not ignorant to what you're doing which is wrong mm-hmm. but then you're still doing it and then you again end up dying sad mm-hmm. and then there's the other person the third person that is aware by the way if you're the second person you're ahead of at least 50 percent of this world because a lot of people are not even aware of what they're doing mm-hmm. so that's you know clu- you know hats off to you mm-hmm. then there's the third person that is um, aware of what they're doing and then they physically put in effort and not like whatever effort, but like actual effort into um, trying to change what they're doing, what's wrong. Like mm. saying, okay, let me just take it in. I am this guy. Mm. I'm a dick for this, or I'm shit at this, or mm. I'm addicted to this. Mm-hmm. And then physically, at least write something down, put in steps. Like when you hear me talk, they probably think that I'm just like like an ignorant, again, an ignorant kid. But I have a board in my yard. Like I have a board in my room where I write down everything I do. And like, how do I better myself? Mm-hmm. Like, I'll do that stuff. I have my little calendar as well. This is what I need to do today. Mm-hmm. This is what I need to pattern up. And again, I'm not perfect. So a lot of shit don't get pat up. And mm-hmm. I get that call from Nigel. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, bro, I know, man. Mm. And then, but, so, but again, I, if you try, I, sw- I put this on my life. Everyone that's listening right now, if you're on that stage of self-awareness, that is like the first, that's like the biggest step for you to now better yourself. Mm-hmm. Because then... Just try. I promise. Just that word. Try. Mm-hmm. Don't you don't even need to succeed. Just try. Mm. You will succeed. Mm. Just mm. try. Mm. Mm. That's what I say. So was that first step, and it's the hardest step, but the most important as well. Blink. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Yeah, no. Like I was saying um the whole thing with self awareness is like you know mm. sometimes um like what you were saying about um people pe- people do things mm-hmm. people do things and ignore mm-hmm. the the consequences or whatever. Is that what you say? So yeah, but I mean they ignore. They, yeah, they're not. They're not self aware yeah, of the. But then there's, do. yeah, people will do bad things, and mm-hmm. bad things will happen back to them, mm-hmm. and they'll say, "Ah, oh, why, why is me? this shit happening?" To <laughs> it's me? crazy. And that same shit will keep happening and, and happening, happening again, and happening. And <laughs> what's happening is the universe or God or whatever you you believe in, uh-huh. is a higher power trying to show you the lesson, okay. like trying to teach you something. Cause you're stuck in a loop mm-hmm. until mm-hmm. you break that loop you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're, 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 you're gonna keep going bro mm-hmm. I've, I've i've been there mm-hmm. i've been there but i'm blessed i'm blessed because i'm able to think like to stop and think wow fam, why is this happening to mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. well then just really dig deep and look at things and then be mm-hmm. i'm very honest with myself mm-hmm. i'm i'm very honest with mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so no, so I, I, I always have time for reflection. And yeah, especially I think when things keep on going. Another thing is also mm-hmm. a lot of people, it takes them, they have to get tired mm-hmm. before they yeah. can get to that self Did reflection, that? self-awareness. Because you get tired yeah. of being in bullshit. You you only step up. He said something in the line. Diddy Diddy as in Puff Daddy as in, as in Bad Boy uh, said. What did he say? He said something like, "You've if you... You only start stepping up once you've actually had enough of mm. your bullshit. Mm. Yeah. Something along yeah. those lines. Yeah. Right? Mm. Yeah. Some people, you know what I mean, it'll take them getting to the edge and falling off before they realize that, rah, there was even an edge there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Now, that's ill. Guys, I appreciate this. Yeah, we've kind of run out of time. We're going to yeah, bring man. this back another time for, okay. you know, a second episode. But I really appreciate you. Thank Who's you, Ryan? Um, Blinky, yeah, you know I mean, what are your socials? You know, what I mean, uh, my socials is who is Orion, that's on Instagram. I've mm-hmm. just started Twitter, my Twitter is shit, to be honest, mm-hmm. but I'm starting back on that, so that's who is Orion, is who is Orion, and, and we're gonna start TikTok. 
We've been saying it. I've, well, I've been saying it for the longest. <laughs> so basically, who's Orion everywhere? Who's Orion everywhere? What are we looking forward to next? Who's Orion on Pornhub as well? If you want to check any videos. What, you, what are we looking forward to next in terms of your project? Oh, we got this Monday. I don't. I don't know when this is being released, but mm-hmm. uh, we got apologies. Uh, a chat coming out with a video. Shout out all my brothers. Shout out Chris. He patterned up all the cars in that video. But um, yeah, that's coming out. Then we got three other tracks, three other freestyles that's coming out. Then after that, we have another song. I'm not gonna say it just in case I can't say it, but. Yeah, we have a lot of music coming out this year. Right, it's cool. exciting. Looking forward to it, man. Who's right, man? Love for coming on, my guy. Gang shit. Love Bl- my brother. Blinky, what about you, my guy? Um, uh, socials is I am the Blinky. I am the B L I N K I E. Mm-hmm. And that's for Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And in terms Fucking of hell. you know your your projects right now, I mean, I know you're signed to Warner Music. You're also on PXL Records. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything we have to to look forward to? What's just come out right now? Uh, what just come out? Uh, remixes. Mm-hmm. What's the latest remix? The re- latest remix is the Mabel. The Mabel remix, right? Mabel. Jeez. Remix. What's that tune called? We got Mabel though. I love Mabel. Uh? Uh, Mabel, Mad Love Remix. Okay. It's big. It's remix. popping. Yeah, it's popping. Hard. It's popping what, what about it's your crazy. own? Um, anything um, coming up? With my own stuff, uh, got a single coming up. Mm-hmm. Got, got a single coming up and an EP as well. Okay, looking then forward to that. a bunch of, like, yeah, same like him. There's a bunch of music coming out this year. This is, I think this is definitely going to be a great year one for you of guys. Uh, one of our best years. People don't understand that, because Bink, Binky's big in house, isn't it? People don't understand that Blinky does <laughs> everything. This is why PXO is crazy. We all do it. Even Nigel, the man- manager, deep this concept. He's Bam. a manager. <laughs> he is shooting videos and editing shit. What no, type no, of manager no, does that? No, no, bro, forget <laughs> that. Forget <laughs> that. Do you know what it is? What? Have you ever had them them little nabs? The Swiss What's army nabs? Army nabs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All their little things. Things. That's him, bro. That's literally bro, Nigel. Cause he, 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 bro, he, he's my PT. <laughs> <laughs> no, no joke. That, he's, yeah. my, he's my PT. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's my he's my marketing guy he's my Crazy. photographer he's my manager everything bruv it, the list goes on. Everything. Yeah. It's crazy. Yo, you know, you know, don't so don't sleep there. Yeah, yeah no, that's ill, man. I big up you, Hendrix, bro. Yo, I feel like everyone, actually. everyone, every every. This is the sick thing about the team because everyone in the team has just got this. Uh, they can do bare things, but then they have this thing. Mm-hmm. This thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like flipping literally like a bunch of superheroes, like yeah. X Men. That's why I keep saying the X Men, man. <laughs> Yo, man, it's yeah. P X Men L. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> Yo, um, so I'm, we're going to sign out, man. Who was a Ryan? I'm Blinky Hendrix, man. Another episode of No Silicon Podcast, man. Keeping it raw and keeping it real. Love. <laughs> hey, that was on. That was fun. No silicone. No silicone. Podcast. Keeping it raw and keeping it real. Real.